हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई एम जय पटेल फ्रॉम वसेस विद्यालय आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड फिजिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ अवर लेसन नंबर नाइन फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन स्टूडेंट्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव टॉट अबाउट द न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टीच अबाउट न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन and after this video i am giving you certain questions that you have to write in your physics notebook so students we have learned newton's first law of motion then second law of motion and today we are going to learn about the newton's third law of motion so students let uh, just uh, understand newton's first law second law uh, so what <coughs> what we have learned and what what these newtons all three laws so newtons laws of motion newton newtons laws of motion are three physical laws which provide relationship between the forces acting on an object and the motion of the body it means that all these three laws are uh, gives us relationship between the forces acting on an object and the motion of the body students we have already learn about the newton's first law of motion so that is also called law of inertia we have learned the newton's second law of motion that is mathematical formula f is equal to ma and today students uh, we are going to learn about newton's third law of motion so that is about action and reaction so this is the easiest law i would like to say that one so newton's third law of motion is the easiest law so let's understand uh, newton's third law of motion so students what is it newton's third law of motion state states that to every action there is equal and opposite reaction and they act on two different bodies now students so this is the newton's third law of motion we can say that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction and they act on different objects so this is the newton's third law of motion so let understand it with uh, different examples so let take first example so uh, newton's third law of motion uh, first example is like that take two spring balances a and b connected together fix the spring balance b to the rigid support let example take it uh, fix on the wall when a force is applied by pulling the free end of the spring balance a now both the spring balances show the same readings this shows that force exerted by the spring balance a on b is equal but opposite in direction to the force exerted by the spring balance b on a the force exerted by the spring balance a on b is action and the force exerted by the spring balance b on a is called reaction so students let us uh, understand it with this particular uh, picture so you can see it here two spring balance are connected to each other and it is the b spring balance is connected to the wall when we are Uh, applying the force on this one on the spring balance a and after we will note down the reading so these both the spring balance will showing you the same reading so here suppose it should be in spring balance a it should be showing you 100 newton then in spring balance b it is also showing you the 100 newton so this is the newton's third law of motion that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction so students let understand with uh, different examples or easiest example of newton's third law of motion so first another example while swimming a man pushes the water backward with hands the reaction offered by the water to man pushes him forward next example when a ball is dropped from a some height it rebounds after striking against a floor students you are playing with uh, a ball it may be cricket ball volleyball when you apply the force from certain height and release that 
particular ball so it should be rebounds and come back to you you are knowing that very well next example a book lying on the table exerts upon it a downward force that is called action equal to the weight of the body it's as well as the table exert an equal and opposite force that is called reaction and that is applied on that particular book this make the book to remain in equi equilibrium it means that book does not move so students this is the another example of newton's third law of motion let understand another examples so when a sailor jumps out of a boat he exerts a backward force of the boat that is called action and the boat exerts an equal and opposite force on the sailor that is called reaction and the sailor jumps forward so this is another example of third law of motion now uh, students understand the next example that is called recoiling of the gun so in that way when a bullet is fired from a gun the force is sending the bullet forward is equal to the force sending the backward it means that two equal and opposite force ap applied when gun is fired from uh, when bullet is fired from the gun so gu bullet is going in the forward direction and recoil of the gun is going in the backward direction students let understand this last example when we walk on the ground then our foot pushes the ground backward and it returns the ground pushes our foot forward the forward reaction exerted by the ground on our foot makes us walk forward so we are walking that is also examples of, of newton's third law of motion now this examples let understand most of this example with the picture now students so this is the uh, bullet fire from the gun that example so when a bullet is fired from a gun it exert a forward force that is called action you can see in the picture on the bullet and the bullet exerts an equal and opposite force on the gun reaction and guns recoils move backward direction now student you can see the picture uh, when person uh, press the trigger so at that time the bullet will goes in one direction and same force acting on the recoil of the gun so that recoil of the gun is come in the backward direction so bullet moves in we can say in north direction then recoil of the gun will come in the south direction now understand the next example yes this is the next example uh when a sailor jumps out of a boat you can see it in picture one person is or we can say the sailor he jumps out from the boat he exerts a backward force of the boat so that is called the action and the boat exerts an equal and opposite force on the sailor so that is called reaction and the sailor jumps forward so this is very easy example students when suppose a person apply the force on the boat so boat moves in one direction and same way that person coming out uh that on the particular land part so that is called the reaction so action is we can say in left direction and reaction is in the right direction now students you can understand this example in the case of rocket so when rocket is fire the force of the burning gas is coming out so that is called action so that is coming out in downward direction we can say that so that that applies the equal and opposite force on the rocket and reaction it moves in upward direction it means that when rocket in the rocket fuel is there fuel is burning and gases is, is coming out from the rocket so hot gases apply the force in downward direction and same one same equal and opposite force will applied on the rocket so the rocket will move in the upward direction now you can see it in the picture now it's similar picture you can understand it here that is a uh, rocket one so suppose uh, exhaust flow pushes backward 
when the fuel fuel is burning in the rocket or in the engine so it is move in the backward direction and engines engine is pushed pushed forward direction so it should be move forward direction so this is the newton's third law of motion for every action there is equal and opposite reaction now in the case of this balloon when uh, air rushes down from this balloon so that is the action so what is your reaction reaction that is that balloon is goes upward direction it means that air coming downward direction and that same with the same force the balloon will go in the upward direction so this is same example uh, you can arrange uh, this balloon on one particular uh, string or thread added to the both the walls and uh, students when you release the mouth of this balloon so when air filled balloon balloon is released the force of the air coming out of the balloon so that is called action and if air is coming out from left side so here we can say that the reaction is in the right right, right side so it means that balloon will move right side so air is coming out left side from the balloon so balloon will move towards the right side so this is the another example of newton's third law of motion so we have learned the newton's third law of motion so just you have to remember the one line i already told you that is easiest law for every action there is e there is an equal and opposite reaction so that is newton's third law of motion and you have to remember uh, minimum two examples of newton's third law of motion we have discussed so many and at the last of this video i am giving you homework that these two question you have to write in your physics notebook the question number 1 write newton's third law of motion and second write any two examples of newton's third law of motion i hope you understand uh, newton's third law of motion okay thank you very much students